Hello everyone, this is Ayat from Inspiring Ignite and in this video I am going to cover one of the most important questions about any exam preparation. Someone asked me, what many times people ask me how to start preparing for a great exam or some competitive exam. When you have a full time job or you have uh, to go to college, so how can you manage time, how can you start preparing for the exam. So I didn't answer this question because I was not in that situation before, because I never took, took any exam that can, in, that, in that situation. <coughs> I took great exam in final year, but during that last uh, three or four months were free, I was free, so I didn't have uh, to go to college just because I was doing project or something like that. But now I landed in a situation where I have a full-time job, and the job is for nine hours, and sometimes that job demands me to give uh, more than 9 hours, like sometimes 13 hours or 15 hours in a day. And on the same time I am preparing for one exam that I think is more important for me. So, when I landed in that situation, I just looked into my schedule and I looked into too many things and and I, I tried to organize things in, in a way that it helped me for preparing for my exam. So, I just try to bring that experience to you so that it will help you and it reminds me later when I feel myself like going away or feeling lazy about my preparations. So there are five things I figured out that I have to concentrate when I'm preparing for something big. And uh, it is actually, you know, when I'm preparing for something big, my whole schedule, my whole activities, my whole uh, daily schedule should rotate around that. That, that, that gives the real essence of it that gives, that tells that like I am preparing well for it and if something is not rotating around it then there is some serious problem about the preparation you, we cannot achieve the goals what, what are desired with that so if you want to stop this video after watching it for 2 minutes I would like to tell 5 points that I concentrated and focusing presently focusing on, uh, on it now the first thing I am focusing on is energy, my energy I don't want to become tired when I am like started trying to prepare for the exam or something when I take my preparation book in my hand I should not feel tired the first thing is I am concentrating keeping my energy levels high when I am sitting for the preparation so and the next thing I am doing is I am focusing on my eating I got to have enough energy in my body I got to have enough calories in my body so that when I go for preparation it won't uh, uh, I won't feel sleepy or dozy or tiredness or something like that and the third thing is my sleeping time because every day is every day have is a is a unit for me. I don't know how is your every day, but for me every day is a unit. If I sleep less tonight, it means that I cannot cut it down from I cannot take the time from the next day because I have my full day schedule packed on, on that day. So if I sleep at two a.m., I have to wake up at five a.m. If I sleep at like four a.m., I have to wake up at five a.m. Because after 5 a.m. my next day starts, and if I do do uh, if I if I cannot do things that I have to do in the morning, it will be very hard for me to continue the day. <coughs> and the fourth thing is like I'm trying to save time, my time every single minute wherever I can save. And the fourth thing is I am trying to have friends who understand me and who know what I'm doing and what I'm preparing for, so that they can help me out. In this, after this, I am going to elaborate this. So all these things. What I figured out should rotate around uh, my objective is the basically essence of my religion itself. I recite one ayah from the Quran, it says, Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahiyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbalami. The ultimate goal of a person in his life is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is to please God, the Almighty. So whatever we do, rest of the things are totally going towards that. Like inna salati, my my prayer, my daily rituals, and man, uh, whatever I do, inna salati, vanasuki, my life and my, my death is everything is for God to make Him happy. So similarly, when I am preparing for for GRE, GMAT, or or gate exam, my total focus should be towards preparing and cracking it. So that's why when I say I save energy, what do I mean by saving energy is like when I don't need to talk too much, I don't talk. When I don't need to write too much, walk too much, like I don't need to go out, I can send someone else on behalf of me. I will not go out, I will send that guy or I will ask someone to help me out with this. I save that energy. 
because if I go out long time and come back and, and, and do all those kind of things and I talk to too, too much talking and all these things, it takes my energy. And at the end of the day when I need to sit and prepare for the exam, I don't have that energy left so I feel sleepy or dozy or something like that. So to avoid that all that kind of situations what I am trying to do is like trying to cut down my activities, my interactions as much as possible. I am not cutting down like interaction completely with my family and friends and all that. I am doing it but I am channelizing it in a way that, that helps me help in my, my, my preparation. And the second important thing I discuss with you is the eating. Most of the time I realized many of my friends they feel that like the food is not tasty so they don't eat it. But for me it's not important now. For me now the most important thing is my preparation. I got to save energy, I got to retain energy, I got to gain energy. So I eat whatever is available so that my energy is, is preserved. When I sit, I can study well. My sleeping time as I mentioned, my sleeping time is like, I am trying to sleep at like 11 o'clock or 11.30. Anything beyond that takes me is something which is more important than gate preparation or uh, this exam. If, if for example, chatting, chatting on the Facebook and watching the videos are totally worthless things. If you are doing it, just cut it down, sleep, take rest, tomorrow you can start preparing, you can start with preparing in tomorrow. Save your every single second, you know. For example, we, we waste a lot of time usually. We waste a lot of time in certain things. Like for example, I give you like, we spend 8 hours in the college and out of that 8 hours, you can save a lot of time. Just what you got to do is you need to explain your friends that you are in a situation where no one can help you except you yourself. And to help you yourself, you have to do this, you have to cut down them for some time. If you have one hour lunch time, you don't need one hour to eat. You don't eat one hour. Just cut it down to 30 minutes. 30 minutes is more than enough for you. And rest of the 30 minutes, you can use it for preparation. If you are going to office and your office, to go to your office, it takes like maybe one hour. Don't drive. Never ever drive. At least for three months, ask someone to help you out or take a auto or, or spend some money in your transportation so that like you can use that time for your preparation because we don't have time and if, if you don't save it that way it will be very hard for us to like crack, crack any any exam because you know hundreds of people have time and they are giving full full hundred percent of their efforts for it so if you don't take if you don't don't tight our schedule don't cut down the parts where we are actually uh, uh, lavishly spending our energy and time then we cannot get into the competition and the last thing I mentioned is friends friends I don't mean the friends you made in Facebook or you made in Twitter or Google Plus or something like that because most of the profiles that you make friends online or you, you think that you, you know them but most of the time if you go and look into their profiles you feel your presence and your presence on the social media itself is wrong. So to avoid all that kind of nonsense things, just try to concentrate and focus on your goals and try to have friends who can understand you. Because you know, it's, our energy level is not same all the time, especially my energy level is not all the same, same all the time. I need people to whom I can talk and explain what, what, is, what is my situation is currently and uh, how can I improve or if I am not doing proper preparation or if I am not if I am not doing proper efforts they should hold me and say like Zahid you are not doing it, you got to do it bro you got to do it my son, you got to do it my honey whatever it is, you got to do it someone who help you, push you and and help you to keep your focus on so I am not saying nagging and all that so have a good friends around you then uh, when you keep all these things together and focus on, on preparing for the exam then the next thing comes you make a strategy for the exam you take the patterns, you take the books, you start reading and you start doing practice tests and everything then automatically this everything will synchronize then you will get into the touch and, and I hope uh, all these things at least will help us to, to realize the give importance to the important things in life not like uh, something is which is not important we make them important and at the end of the day we don't lose we lose all focus and we lose all our opportunities and all that 
So with this video, I'd like to, I, I am concluding this video and as in all other videos, I ask you to subscribe to Inspiring Ignite YouTube channel, I ask in this video too. So do subscribe to Inspiring Ignite channel, do subscribe to Inspiring Ignite itself, do like us on Facebook and Google Plus so that you can get the updates whenever we do updates here. And I hope this video will help you start preparing for the GATE exam or any other competitive exam you are preparing for. And I especially ask you to remember me in your good prayers so that uh, the exam I'm going to write maybe in a month or two months so it would be easy for me. And I would crack it down as it should be cracked down to get into the best schools in the world. Thank you so much for watching the video and wish you all a very good, great luck with this.